Now, We 31 Sports with Nolan Knight. Hello from Legacy Arena here in Birmingham, Alabama. Day two of the AHSAA Final Fours underway. Today it was Class 3A that took center stage as three North Alabama schools look to clinch their spot in the state championship. We'll begin today's action with the girls 3A state semifinal. The Clements Colts were in action in a rematch of last year's state championship game as the Colts took on Trinity Presbyterian. And the Wildcats would take a lead into the fourth quarter. Maddie Smith gets her own rebound and puts it back up to extend a lead. But Clements never shine away. Tay Tay Farah in the post. She gets a tough basket to go through contact. But on the other end, Trinity gets a huge play with the clock winding down. It's Smith again, this time for the basket and the foul. But Leah Childress refused to give up, flashing to the rim with this basket to make it a two-point game. The Colts, they had a chance to tie it at the buzzer. Childress for three. That's off the mark. She gets a better look. That one just misses as well as Clements falls in the 3A state semifinals, 41-39 ending the cold season in Birmingham for the second straight year. But even with the heartbreaking loss, head coach Shane Childress wouldn't trade this season for anything. I, I think it's, it's been fun. That's been fun, is to watch them grow and to believe in themselves and to play on this big stage. And you see how they were down and they, they weren't going to quit fighting. So I think the life lessons that they've I've got to watch them learn has been worth every minute of it, every minute of it. So Trinity is back in the state final and they'll take on the winner of this one. The Plainview Bears versus Cottage Hill. The Bears were hoping to advance to their first ever girls basketball title game. And man, do they jump out to a big lead in this one. Gracie Rowell pulls up. She buries the triple to extend what was a 28-2 first quarter lead. And a lot of their firepower came from who else but the freshman. Sawyer Kate Holgan buries another triple. She would nail eight in this one. Lauren Jimerson also got into the fun. She would finish with 17 points as Plainview called off the dogs early. Plainview, they make it a 57 point win as they take down Cottage Hill in the AHSAA 3A semifinals, 81 24. And then punch their ticket to a state championship game Friday at 12 30. You know, we had, a, we had a really tough schedule this year to prepare for this. We know with a, with a great group of girls that we have, we stepped up our schedule a little bit and we played some really big teams, you know, some really talented teams in, in big time environments. So, you know, just for this moment, and I think our girls are, they'll be ready for the challenge. Turn our attention to the Class 3A boys semifinal. The Geraldine Bulldogs were in the Final Four for the first time in over 20 years, and they were taking on Hillcrest Evergreen with the spot in the final on the line. And early on, the Bulldogs were going shot for shot. Jackson Colvin for three. He connects, but the Jags would respond. Called a pull-up three for Jermonte Starworth. He drills the triple, and they would add to it. This time, Jordan Bonner from the wing. Another three for Hillcrest. The Bulldogs in the first half, though, kept fighting. Slashed to the rim for Colvin for two. In the second half, though, it was all Hillcrest. Trey Simpson with the steal and the slam to put this one away as Geraldine's season comes to a close in the state semifinals, falling to the Jags 62 to 49. But this season for the Bulldogs was still a success. You know, something these guys have dreamed about for years, and we're just happy to be here. And wish we could have gave a better effort or a better performance. Anyway, the effort I thought was as good as it's been all year, but um, not going to be disappointed in any way with uh, the way the season turned out. So it's Plainview that will be heading to the 3A state championship. Be sure to tune back in tonight at 10 o'clock as we'll have full coverage from the Class 4A state championships here at Legacy Arena. Reporting in Birmingham with coverage you can count on Nolan Knight, Wait 31 Sports.